Hey everyone, Pastor Jonathan here. Just wanted to touch base with you quickly here at the end of our four week series called All Things New, Heaven, Earth, and the Restoration of Everything that You Love. I have to admit, uh, from the beginning of the series, I don't think I quite realized um, that it was really a series about hope uh, and the kind of hope that um, can fill the life of the believer enabling them to sort of face anything that this life throws at them uh, based on the vision of our future. And um, I think it's so, so necessary to have that kind of hope, especially here in 2020, um, because we see all kinds of upheaval, don't we? And whether that is political or whether that is um, social upheaval, or whether it is uh, physical, right, with with what we're seeing uh, with the virus. So I would argue that there's uh, that there's really no way to face all that upheaval without a, a proper working vision of heaven and the the great hope that we have as believers. Um, but I just wanted to highlight a couple things that impacted me uh, in the series. Number one, how about the how about the fact that the earth itself is included. Uh, All of its beauty, all of the special places uh, that we enjoy, uh, none of that is going to be lost. Instead, it's completely renewed. And actually, God is going to live with us here on the earth. And what's he going to do when he arrives? And uh, we learn in Isaiah, we learn in Revelation that what he's actually going to do is Uh, the first thing he's going to do is wipe uh, tears and hurt and sadness from our eyes. And just the kind of um, injustice that our world is so filled with will be gone forever. And then another thing that really impacted me was the fact that um, uh, there's also a call to that kind of justice right now, a call to action uh, to begin to sort of inject our world with that kind of justice, be it social or otherwise uh, in other circles of life, Um, but to do it right now uh, where no one is marginalized or oppressed or left out. And And I think that a vision, a proper vision, again, of the new earth is way more compelling than some list of do's and don'ts or some cause that we find ourselves um, engaged in. Uh, Lastly, I want to mention that um, the resurrection of Jesus um, is the first fruits, or it's a first installment of a resurrection to come. And it's actually ours. It's our resurrection. And um, so I think it's so important that we sort of stop viewing the resurrection of Jesus as some sort of removed um, theological event that happened a long time ago that doesn't really have any bearing on our lives um, right now. The truth is it's a complete victory over death uh, and it has very real applications uh, to our lives now, but also to the resurrection that we will experience. Uh, in our real physical bodies. And I think that's so important that we envision that, uh, that, that, that we will have real bodies, you know, walking and talking and eating and drinking and laughing, um, instead of some picture of us sort of just floating around, um, in this ethereal world that we can't imagine. We need to be able to imagine it. Uh, based on what we find in scripture in order to put um, the proper hope in it. So I hope that is helpful. I hope this series has been helpful. I just want to remind you of um, the resources uh, that we use throughout. I hope that some of the things we talked about have driven you uh, to scripture to find out if they're really true or not. Um, I think that's the goal of any series uh, that we do. Uh, So the Bible, number one. Secondly, uh, the book, All Things New by John Eldridge. Uh, Just a wonderful resource full of fresh insight uh, about uh, heaven and specifically the new earth. If you want to find out more about that, please get that book. Um, And then uh, thirdly, this sort of encyclopedia of heaven, I'll call it. Uh, It's actually called Heaven. It's by Randy Alcorn. It's a bit of a deeper dive, still very accessible 
and readable, um, but goes into quite a bit more detail. Uh, so I encourage you to grab those. Um, and again, I just am so prayerful that this series has been a benefit to you, that you've learned some things I know I have. Um, and, and I'm just so grateful to have been able to, uh, to share it with you. So talk again soon.